I just mentioned certain uncertainty, you know, and the book was predicated on the on the idea that, you know, the world is increasingly, you know, VUCA, as they say, and difficult to predict. It almost sounds like that's anathema to the whole sustainability kind of movement. You know, on the one hand, you've got a very potentially unstable world. And then on the other hand, you know, we're trying to make it sort of more stable and sustainable. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's a challenge, isn't it? Um, I mean, I think certainly all of the sorts of things, many of the themes that were coming up in that book around uncertain, uh, certain uncertainty, uh, the, the different sorts of challenges business leaders are facing now, many of those things can get in the way of trying to focus on sustainability in ESG, uh, environmental, social governance issues. Those times, types of issues have been forcing their way onto the business agenda for several years, but with these all these new things coming along, hard to keep a focus on them. But I mean, I'd argue that actually, um, all of the kinds of issues and challenges associated with sustainability in ESG are themselves part of that maelstrom of things that are kind of deluging business leaders and, and they have to find a way of engaging with wh whether they want to or not. You've got um, all the different kinds of ways that ESG issues themselves are causing uncertainty and disrupting business. So you could think of the climate challenge, for example, and the increasing uh, physical challenges we're getting that from that with the increasing temperatures, the droughts, the wildfires, the flooding of an extreme weather. Uh, and that's causing disruption for business um, and different businesses in different ways. We could think of businesses in the food sector, for example, food producers like Unilever, they quote a figure of 300 million euro a year that climate change is already costing them through disruption to their supply chains. 